I think based on what we've discovered, we can make the argument that we should save the old growth forest as a matter of national defense. This is Paul Stamets. He has a doctorate in taxonomy with postdoc studies in microbiology and electron microscopy. Also, he loves mushrooms. Stamets was on Joe Rogan back in November of 2017, and the entire podcast was mind-blowing. But he caught us off guard with something. Some of the Star Trek people called me up in August of 2016. They said, Paul, we're the writers of the new Star Trek Discovery series. We're kind of stuck. So I said, okay. I said, the mycelium spore drive allows through uh, the internet of nature, you might say, to be able to go into hyperspace immediately by tapping into the mycelial archetype. This guy was responsible for creating the brand new propulsion method in Star Trek Discovery. Apparently, the show's writers were so grateful, they named their chief scientist after him. We both love Star Trek immensely. One of the things that make it so much fun is its tech, and we believe that's because much of the tech is based out of reality. Take the warp drive. It was invented by the fictional Zephram Cochran, played by the very real, very tall James Cromwell. But the concept, the idea, was invented by Mexican theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre, and he called it the Alcubier Drive. It was created as a sort of answer to Einstein's theory of relativity as a way to break the speed of light by bending space itself, both in front of and behind you. This theory is still being worked out by NASA scientists right now, and could be put into practice sooner than we think. Faster than light speed could be possible, and Star Trek was the first TV show to bring it into the mainstream. Now, with Star Trek Discovery, we're getting a new type of tech, the Displacement Activated Spore Hub Drive, or Spore Drive for short. It works like this. The Discovery collects a fictional type of spore called Prototaxite Stella Viatori and uses it with a biological life form to navigate to different parts of the universe via a mycelial network. Got all that? Yeah, neither do we. We have to dig a little deeper. Mycelium is the vegetative part of a fungus or fungal network. Basically, it's the webbing inside of a mushroom. What's so fascinating about these webs is that we've seen evidence of information passing through them, from adapting to environments, to growing and spreading in patterns that denote intelligence, even sentience. Mycelium has proven to be an incredible building block of life. It's even shown to be the largest living organism on Earth. This is where Paul Stamets comes in. He surmised that there could be a mycelium network across the entire universe, and certain organisms could connect with it and travel to any point in the universe they wanted via quantum entanglement. This includes giant tardigrades and humans. Quantum entanglement basically means when two particles collide, they share some of each other's information and are connected via means we honestly don't yet understand. Essentially, the two particles are entangled with each other. But when we observe these particles, the information they share collapses, and we only see the particles in their original state. This happens regardless of distance or time, breaking pretty much all the rules of physics. Star Trek Discovery implies that Stella Viatori carries with it quantum entanglement properties. So, the Discovery and the Mycelium Network are acting as the two colliding particles. Yeah, it hurts our brains too. But again, this is based on real science. We've seen quantum entanglement in action, just on a subatomic level. What's really fun is how Stamets on the show reacts to interfacing with the spore drive. Why would you apologize for a random act of physical interaction? You're a very tall man. You're always looking out for me. But it really is fascinating as more and more research shows how beneficial mushrooms of different types can be for the body, the brain, the immune system, the senses, and even our environment. So you have a unique opportunity here of forming our future. Let's collaborate to create a future that's better for our future generations by inspiring students and young people to get excited about the science so they can help populate the universities to create the inventions that can help save this planet. Like Star Trek, Paul Stamets seeks to help move the world forward progressing it and the humans that live on it into new frontiers that heal the planet and get us into space, possibly beyond. Like Q said in the final episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, 
The exploration that awaits us isn't mapping stars or studying nebula, but charting the unknown possibilities of existence. And with Star Trek and Stamets help, maybe we can find those possibilities with a little dose of shrooms. Just don't call it that in front of them. The word shroom just drives me crazy. Shroom fest. Yeah. Let's not be children about this. Let's be I adults, understand. you you're, know? You're a serious person. Hi guys, I'm Justin. And I'm Liana. And thanks for watching this video on Star Trek Discovery's Real Life Science. We had a lot of fun making this video. We sure did. And we hope that you could understand all of it because there was a lot of techno babble. And we're by no means physicists, but we tried to explain it at least in a way that we could understand and hopefully you can understand as well. I always loved the techno babble growing up watching Next Generation. Uh, I didn't understand any of it, but I just loved hearing it. Lo loved hearing Jordy talk about all these different types of words that I've never heard of, but then he would give you a quick metaphor like, it's an elephant carrying a train kind of thing to help you understand it, which I thought was really funny. Right. And I really loved uh, the phaser. That was my favorite kind of tech. You could either get stunned by it or you could get vaporized by it. Yeah, that's a little scary, but um, I kind of like the tricorder more just because you could go up to something and scan it and then instantly know pretty much everything about it, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. What's your guys' favorite tech on Star Trek? Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you love and why you love it. We'd love to hear from you and talk to you about it. Also, please be sure to subscribe and please be sure to press that like button so we can keep getting these videos out to you. And for our next video, what do we got? Well, we're going to do something a little different. We're focusing on a color and it's one of my favorite colors. Which color is that? Red. Red. So the video is about red? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs>